Just in a quick one, we've just done an interview with all the lads that are going to be fighting on the same show as you on May the 13th. But um, you've been a busy boy. Well, uh, well, you've not been fighting. You've been uh, you've been on TV, mate. So tell me a little bit about it. Uh, yeah, just an opportunity to come. Obviously, I'm 27, so I thought a chance to get more exposure and a good sponsor behind me. Um, it was just a, a show abroad with Fred. He loves his boxing. Uh, Can you pronounce his surname for me? Syriac. Syriac. Yeah. yeah. Well, Fred he, 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 like, we were just talking because we uh, we spoke yesterday when I called with you down at Arnie's gym where you, where you yeah. train, and um, he's uh, not just he's a huge boxing fan. I mean, when he first came over here, I watched an interview with him and he was talking about um, when he first got over here, he was made welcome by Clinton McKenzie. Mm -hmm. uh, I think he was a British welterweight champion and he used to do serious rounds with him. Yeah, yeah, it's funny because I actually I listened to podcasts on my way to training and stuff, boxing. I was just a fan of Joe Carzaghi and his Fred was on the same one and I thought, bloody hell. And I listened to it and then, yeah, he loves it. He just said about that Clinton that he's done loads of stuff with him and that is. And also, uh, but I didn't realise, this, this show that you've been doing, it's actually on TV, is it on now at present? Uh, yeah, it's been on, it's on a box set on uh, YouTube or... Uh, and what's it called? Fred's Last Resort. Fred um, there's result. eight episodes, I won't say how far I get and I won't say uh, what happened but I'm sure if you look through my social media you'll see. So, so what, 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 was, what actually was it then? Because I mean normally we, we uh, associate them with first dates and first date hotel, yeah. so what was this? It weren't anything like that, it was just uh, like hospitality where you was in the south of France um, and you just basically like help waiting on with guests and stuff like that. Um, working in a hotel, high hey. intensity is horrible. Mate. Can you tell me the story about the wedding dress? Right, the, the wedding dress. Um, I've gone to make a, a bride a drink, a day before a wedding, she had like a full white dress. And I never used a tray when I was over there because I hate the weight of a, of a tray when you've got drinks in it. Take her over this, make her a Bellini, orange and yellow, take it over to her. Put one on the table for her, and the other one just goes bang and spills on her. And I try and smash it back, but me smashing it back makes it worse. And it just goes all, all on her like that. <laughs> I'm just like dabbing. I'm just like, I'm so sorry. And that was so, the day before the big day. Yeah, I still don't forgive myself now. I can lose sleep over it. <laughs> well, listen. Uh, good luck for May the 13th. Mm -hmm. Like I say, uh, really looking forward to it. The boys are back in town. Uh, six local lads all fighting at the Winter Gardens. Yeah. It's going to be a top night and uh, hopefully I'll be down there, I'll be speaking to you, well, I'll be filming it and then speaking to you afterwards and I'll be saying win number four, mate. Yeah, you will. Jackson, you take care, mate. Nice Bye. Thank you.